there is more than rock and roll coming out of Philadelphia these days. Our next speaker is Margaret Downey, the founder and president of the Free Thought Society of Greater Philadelphia and head of the Anti-Discrimination Support Network. Thanks to the Free Thought Society, a plaque of the Ten Commandments on the facade of the Chester County Courthouse may be coming down. The society prevailed in, a federal, in federal court, but the decision is now on appeal. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a warm welcome to Margaret Downey from Pennsylvania. Hello, everybody, my fellow free thinkers, atheists, agnostics, humanists. How are you? <laughs> All right. Ellen Johnson introduced me as having come from Pennsylvania, the state that symbolizes the birth of liberty in this great country. While Pennsylvania is the home of the Liberty Bell, the birthplace of the Bill of Rights, and the place where the Constitution was signed, I cannot confirm that our forefathers' vision of freedom has been fully realized. For some citizens, life liberty and the pursuit of happiness seems a distant goal. Like some Americans, and most Americans, atheists want to live free from prejudice, free from unjustified and negative stereotyping, free from hatred, and free from detrimental government rulings. The question is, can our goal be achieved? And that is why we are here today. We want the media, the religious majority, and government officials to understand that in America, there are still citizens who are marginalized. That would be you. Yeah. Atheists are also subjected to unfounded bigotry and prejudice. And it is those firmly held prejudices that make it impossible to break away from negative stereotyping. This can change, and we are here to see that it does. So pay attention, fellow citizens. The time to recognize the atheist minority is now. The place, the place to demand freedom, equal citizenship, and unbiased treatment is here. Today, for the first time in the history of our nation, the atheist community has come together to make clear that we are an important and integral part of maintaining a free America. Our placards reflect the concerns we have. Our chants reflect, reflect the frustration we feel and our speakers convey our needs. When we cry out for separation of church and state, we speak for our dead forefathers. And today, atheist leaders beseech those of you who will listen with an open mind and an open heart to see us as citizens who love our Constitution. Our patriotism makes us unafraid to file lawsuits, that seek to maintain the Constitution's secular message. We demand equal rights under the law, and we bring to life the words of historical documents, such as the Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, this is the message we hope to convey to those who would see that the atheist communities only through the eyes of bigotry. To you, I'd say stop, Look and listen. While we protect our freedom from religion, we protect your freedom of religion. Now, if you want proof that unbelievers have valid concerns, contact me. And if you want proof that unbelievers are treated unfairly in the workplace, contact me. If you want proof that unbelievers are shunned in their communities and their schools, contact me. If you want proof that unbelievers are ostracized by their families, contact me. 
And if you want proof of how the media contributes to demonizing non-believers, please contact me. My collection of narratives of discrimination prove prejudice and bigotry against the atheist community. The narratives were collected from courageous individuals who do not fear exposure. If you want to meet these people, contact me. Now, if you want to join those courageous individuals and file your own story of discrimination, contact me. Yes, it takes courage to speak out, but be assured that if you wait in the wings for others to pave the way, the progress will be slowed by your reluctance to come forward. Your voices are needed, your stories are needed, your life stance needs to be counted, and you must help the non-believing community grow strong. The black community has the NAACP, the Jewish community has the Anti-Defamation League, and you, my fellow American citizens, non-believers, have the Anti-Discrimination Support Network. Together we can demand respect, and we can create a safe environment for our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren. Respect for non-believers is long overdue. By stepping forward and standing proud as an atheist in America, you can help non-believers get elected to public office, you can help in prejudice in the workplace, you can help students and teachers in the public school system keep lessons free from religious intrusion, and you can help the non-believing community achieve first-class citizenship. Now, with as much noise as you can make, convey to me that you will not be apathetic and you will go home proudly to declare your right to be free from religious intrusion. <laughs>